Hi y'all. We are fixing to pour this right here. I went ahead and put mica on this. I used coffee for around this and the letters. And I used this in here and around the frame. I have no idea if this is going to turn out. This was level, but I've had to move it a couple of times. I'm hoping it still is fairly level. Uh, we will find out. This may be a total disaster. Uh, I also made this mold out of that right there. And if we have any resin left over, I may not have poured enough. I am using the polyurethane 10-minute cure resin on this. Only because this is so big, it will not fit in on my heat mat and I didn't want to have to wait 24 hours to do this video uh, because I want to see how it's going to turn out there is a piece of glitter inside this it's not coming out oh lord have mercy It is sticking to this. Okay. I have got, uh, I have mixed up 300 mil of each. So that's a total of 600 mil. This is B. I hope it all fits in this. It's going to be close. Woo wee. Yep, indeedy. Okay. It is time to mix. I don't think I've ever mixed this much uh, polyurethane resin up at one time. Trying to keep it from going out the pour spout because it's right up on the edge, y'all. And I'm trying to stir it good. I'm afraid it's going to turn start turning hard a lot faster because there's so much of it. It's not turning warm yet, so let me go ahead and mix it a little bit more. Okay, good enough. Wow, look at that, that is almost perfect, I did not have enough to, pour. 
with a small cross. Which is fine. I will at some point do that one too. I do not know. Trying to get the the bubbles. Okay, it's popping them. Okay, I don't know how long it's going to take for that to cure. Oh, oh, do y'all see that white? Oh, you see it turning? Oh, wow. Look, look, it's turning. <laughs> I love watching this stuff, y'all. It is so much fun to watch. Let me get this over there. Oh, wow. Can y'all see that? I need more alcohol. Well, I was going to bring you back, but it's turning pretty fast. And it's pretty cool watching it, so we'll just leave it alone. And y'all can watch it turn white, which I find fascinating. If you don't, you can always fast forward. And I'm going to run in and see if I can't find... I thought I had alcohol out here. Oh, I do have. I just need to open up my eyeballs, y'all. Yes, I do. I, I get the 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol. Ooh, did I say that right? <laughs> oh, I had too much uh, mica in there. It's floating on the top. And I'm just cleaning out this mold. I'm trying to do it before it gets hard. Because this polyurethane resin is not like epoxy resin. You don't clean your containers out. Uh, while it's still wet, it's hard to get them cleaned out. Well, that's what I found anyway. I don't know how long it's going to take 
But boy, it turned white real quick. Of course, I am not going to take it out soft because it is so big. Uh, I don't want to chance it. But I think it pretty much filled it up. Perfectly, the 600 mil, which is, I don't know how many is it, ounces. Is that in ounces? Yes. Uh, right at, oh wow, 20 ounces. Yeah. Uh, So it's not going to be a cheap one to pour in uh, the polyurethane either. Because with the polyurethane, you get 60 ounces. So a third of the polyurethane, which you get and you pay $42.99 for the 60 ounces. So a third of that. Um, Half would be 20. About $12.50 in polyurethane resin is what this is going to run. Yeah, you see how soft it is? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not touching that right now. Um, what I did, I don't know if I showed y'all. I used the coffee. Now on the cross, which I have not poured yet, I mean, yeah, uh, I did make that. Uh, I used the Pearl X right here for the letters and then the coffee for the background. But this, now it looks gold. It looks like brown and gold. But this is actually a peacock green. Now, I don't know if it's going to pop up that way. I'm hoping it does. But, you know, who knows? It is getting firmer. It is still quite warm. I can touch it, you know, as you can see. Um, it's like a glob right there, and I don't understand why there's a glob in this. It's a little odd. Which is fine. It's the back. This was the fastest way I knew how to pour this. Stuff. I've never poured this mold. I don't have a clue to how it's going to look. Um, I made this from this picture right here. And it's really, you can see where the silicone. And it has like a little fuzziness around the letters. Is If that's going to pop out of there, I don't know. Maybe it's where the wood was. I don't know. Uh, but I think I can trim that off if that's what happens with this. Oh, it's, it's very, very hot right now. I was going to get a measuring tape and measure this for you. Because somebody asked me the size of it. And I thought it was like a 13 by 13. But I wasn't real sure. And of course, I, I've got to run out here real quick and get a tape measure. Okay, 
The mold itself is almost 14 inches. It's 12.25 inches by 12.25 inches. Okay, not quite, but the mold itself is right at almost 14, not quite, maybe 13.75 inches. And it's not real deep either. Maybe an inch deep. No, it's about uh, 0.75 inches. No. Hmm. Oh, come on. I'm excited. I want to see. This is mica. That was excess mica. Okay, I'm flipping it over. Give it a couple more minutes. I'm going to spray this and get this cleaned off while we're waiting. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm making this for our church. They don't know it yet. <laughs> they may not want it. <laughs> I don't know. But we have a, we have a wall of crosses. And I've always loved that. It's in the narthex. Right, as, right before you go into the sanctuary. And uh, there is a uh, a picture, I guess it's still there. It's been a while since we've been there because our home church is in Madison, Tennessee. And when we moved to Clarksville, we started going to the one up here. Uh, but there used to be uh, the Lord's Supper print that I donated to the church also, and that was also in the, the Narthex. I don't know if it's still there or not. But we'll take this to the church. Dan and I will drive down there and take it to the church, and if they don't want it, then I'll give it to somebody else. I'm sure they'll want it, but, but that's what I'm making this for. My very first one. Unless it's crappy. And then, of course, I won't. Oh, I so want to. Oh, wow. Okay. Y'all want to see this? <laughs> okay. Let me... Well, the colors did not come out exactly the way I wanted. But I can repaint this if I need to. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing this before you are. I am. Oh, oh, I love this mold. Okay, I'm very carefully removing it, okay? And no, the color did not come out. It did not come up, but I'm going to just tease you. You see how it looks like? Okay, let's just take the whole thing out. I'm setting it 
of her hair. And now I'm going to have to repaint that, but do y'all see, do y'all see the wood grain? It looks just like the picture. And, and I'm going to touch this up with, with paint. Probably just dry brush. I love this. I absolutely, it, it looks like wood, y'all. It looks like wood. Now, it's still soft, okay? Um, <laughs> I'm so happy with this. Okay. I'm going to dry brush. And I'm going to do this on here. I cannot believe how wonderful this turned out. Uh, okay, I will be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I just put a little bit of this paint in this cup right here. And I'm going to try, I've never done this before, but I'm going to try to put a little bit of this mica in with acrylic paint. Will it work? I don't know. We'll find out together. That's what I do on my channel. Well, it turned it a little bit. So I'm going to put more in. have a whole lot of this. Hope y'all can see me. Yeah, he can. Oop. Okay, this is grainy. And it's because of the mica. So what I'm going to do, and I don't know if this is going to work with acrylic, but I'm going to spray a little bit of alcohol down in here. And I'm doing that trying to get the mica to blend a little bit better. And I, you know, I know that if you do it with mica first and then add, it works. I don't know if it works once you've already put it in with acrylic. But it seems to have probably not as good as if I'd done it prior to adding it. But yeah, it has broke the mica down some. Okay. Now. This may be a mistake, but this is color shift. And that looks more like a, a, a mint that I've got right now. And so I'm going to just put a little squirt. See, a little squirt. And I'm going to mix it up. Oh, and that did it. Yes, indeedy. Okay. Now, I'm going to be dry brushing this on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a couple of paper towels here. I'm going to move this over a little bit. Get this off my brush. I'm 
that's real close to that color. Can you see? Okay. I don't know what this is going to look like. I have never done this with this before. And there's a wood grain. There's a definite wood grain. And I might have to go in with something darker because of the skull being on here, but we'll see. Yeah, I might have to... I have to fully paint that. Okay. Which I am changing the color up, but because there's so much gold on this, I don't have any choice. I'm using very little paint. I hope you can tell that. And then I'm actually taking my glove and wiping it. going to have to go back over. Okay. Same thing with this. This is two. I need a sponge for this is what I need. Or a bigger brush. I don't like these brush strokes in here. I'm not worried about if I get a little bit of it on the brown because I can take alcohol and get it off of there fairly easy. And I don't mind it looking distressed. So, what I don't want, if I can help it, is to get it down. in there. And if you have too much paint on your brush, then just wipe it off.
and this is going to take you a little bit of time if you choose to do it this way you know this is not you can get a totally different look if you choose to do this in clear resin but when people see this they're not they're not going to have a clue this is resin at all which i think is really really cool This has got a little bit of the gold coming through, which I don't have a problem with at all. This has got so much gold in it that I gotta get some heavier paint up through here. That is my phone. Making that noise. It will eventually stop. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to make it so where you can see, but I've also got to be able to see what I'm doing.
and I'm still dry brushing y'all I'm putting paint on and I'm taking the majority of the paint off That I will get off. Uh-oh. Yep, it's still soft. I don't need to be picking that up. I don't want it warped. Need some of those small little micro brushes. To get inside there. <laughs> because I have some in right in there that I need to get off yep right there and uh, my fingers are too big to get down in there let's see if this won't work can I use it? no well, that might work let me bend it and see I don't even know what that is <laughs> Let me get a, a clean brush and see if that won't do it. And that that will do it, okay. Not as good as a micro brush would, but it is getting in there, so that's good. So I want the inside to be totally. should have been a different color. Let's 
but I could always make it a different color. I could always put I sure want to do gold, but I don't know. Okay, now let's go back to this. Let's get some more color. Some of those areas. Oh, yeah, I sort of like that. I like the fact that it's sort of rustic looking. Hmm. I don't know if there's anything else I want to do to that. <laughs> I keep forgetting it's uh, resin. <laughs> uh... Hope y'all can see this good. I'm going to try to pick it up. So you're not seeing the glare. And you're actually seeing. What do y'all think? I absolutely love it. I, I am so happy with this. Um, yeah, I'm extremely happy with this. I think what I would like to do is to put right down here, right in the actual scripture not the the full scripture just the the book and the uh, the number but oh yeah this this is cool and I'm I'm excited I now know I can take things that I didn't think I could take and make a mold out of and for it to look I hope y'all can see this. I mean, it looks like wood. Even the frame looks like wood. Let, let me take it down to one. I don't need these on anymore. Let me take my gloves off. It makes me want to pour that real fast, too. Y'all want me to pour this one before I end the video. Um, 
Let me pick this up. Can y'all see? The, the actual, that actually looks like wood. I hope that's coming through. And I see another spot that I need to. paint off of and I will probably uh is it perfect no it's not perfect and nothing I do will ever be perfect but am I happy with it yeah I'm very very happy with it And I will probably go around and get some more of this grain off from the inside. And of course, I am going to put a finish on this since I painted it. Uh, and it may just be a spray. Uh, I may just spray it. It depends on if I want it gloss or matte. If I want it matte, then I will use a my matte Mod Podge. But if I want it shiny, then I will use... Uh, this does not need to be sprayed right there. Just that part and this part. So I may just put my matte Mod Podge because I sort of like the fact this is sort of glossy. It's not a real high sheen, but it's it's glossy. And I sort of like the uh, the matte with the glossy. So, alrighty, I'm going to set this over here. I do need to trim the edges, see? Uh, and I'm going to have to paint that up a little bit. Well, let's see if I do. I know I'm going to have to trim it. Did the gold get... Yeah, I'm going to have to paint that a little bit. Uh, and I'm going to have to... Uh, which It's not going to take much. I got my gloves off, so I don't want to get paint all over my... Hands, if I'm going to pour that. But let me just go ahead and put... A coat on and then I'll set it over there and let it dry and I will trim it up and get those edges off I'm happy that I got real close to the the actual color that I poured because that is the color I wanted. I cannot believe... I don't know if you can see this. Even the sides of it. It acts just strictly like wood. Even when you're painting it. You know how it has that texture. And if you don't paint it heavy enough. It doesn't go down in. <laughs> Which is awesome. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to set this over here on my rack. And I'm going to get the paint off my hands. And I'm going to try to get the paint out of that brush. And we're going to go ahead and pour this for the 10 minute uh, polyurethane so you can see it. I sort of want to see it too. And of course I can do it off camera and see it, but I would like for y'all to see it. 
I'm just trying to clean up my mess before I start. I'm going to keep this for touch-ups. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set, I'm going to put another cup on top of it. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to need much, but we'll go ahead and we will use those. I am going to get gloves back on. I was going to use my new uh, resin today, Naked Fusion. But that will probably be on tomorrow's video. I may do part of it tonight because I think it's going to take longer to cure. Oh, I don't think that's going to take much at all. You know what? We're not even going to do that. We're going we're gonna to go with these little things. I don't want to waste those. Do I have any of those throw? What? Yeah. Because it's not going to take much at all. In fact, I could mix one of those up. <laughs> I can't get them off of here. These are what? I'm trying to separate. I know there's two of them in here. Maybe not. Okay. That's going to be too much. I know if I do that, that's going to be too much. Okay. I got to get some kind of mold out here. Just in case. Uh, let's see. Okay, I can put little stamps or something on this if I need to. I don't think that's a good idea either. We're going to go with what I can measure. Hmm. I always do it from the side too, y'all. It's easier to pour when you do it that way. Okay. Is a I'm letting the, the cup drip. This is B. And I'm pouring it right in the same cup. And we're going to stir this. I hope this is enough. 60 mLs.
I don't feel it getting warm yet. That's when I know to stop stirring and start pouring. Okay, we're way too much. Goodness. Okay, probably had enough to pour both of those. the bubbles. I poured one, two, three, four, five, six of the little circles up here. Well, let's see how fast this turns. Now, if this doesn't turn as quickly, I will stop and then come back when it's ready to go. But it's sort of fun to watch uh, as it's turning white. But sometimes it does it quickly, and then other times it does not do it real quick at all. And it doesn't seem like this one is going to do it real quick. Do you see the grain? Can, let me take you down. Let me take you down even further. Can y'all see the grain in that? We'll leave it down like this so y'all can see it up close. I just don't want my phone falling in it. These are not changing either. I hope I stirred it up enough. See? Always worry about that too, y'all. But this is a thinner mold. Okay, it still hasn't started turning, so I, I will be back when it's ready to come out. Hi, we are back, and I think this is ready to go. And I have these over here, too, which are just going to be white, but I can do a lot with those. Uh, I have no idea. Okay, I can tell that that's going to have to be sanded. Um which is okay. Oh, 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 I like that. Oh, I do like that. Oh, I like the shadowing. Uh, the deburring tool. Should I, I record this uh, tremendously? But the deburring tool should take. Let's see. Okay, it is going to take some of the color off. Maybe I should take it this way. I can't ever remember which way to do it. But that's okay. I can... I can 
and get some more color. Yeah, I did it the wrong way. And there's a lump right there because I did it the wrong way. Do it from the bottom. Yeah, see, it just takes off what needs to be taken off. But do it from the bottom, not the top. Uh-oh, see, I just did a chunk out. So, it's still soft. And I should probably wait until it's really hard because it's really soft right now. <laughs> so, I probably shouldn't be doing this, but that's okay. I can sand that one spot down. I'll be putting some kind of backing on this anyway. I just want to make sure that Yeah, so that came off really, really good. And I love the way, I don't understand why that is there. Just a little a tiny bump there. And I probably should just take my X-Acto knife, which I don't have one out here is the problem. But that would work better than the deburring tool to get that off. Because there's just a little bump right there. Still there. <clears throat> okay. But y'all, let me, let me go up. Yeah. That way. Look at the detail on that. Oh, I absolutely love that. There was a team move cross, y'all. Paid 89 cents for this. I like mine better. That was so, so simple to do, y'all. Just so very simple to do. Now, this is really, really thin, and no, this is not going to last very long, because I, I did it in the top. I'll show you what I did it in. I did it in this. I keep my silicone that I had, and I knew it was not going to be deep enough, so I, this is a lid. Uh, and so I put a little bit of hot glue. That's why the mold looks so wonky, but it worked, because that's all I had at the time. Uh, but I couldn't get it thick. This, this is just about the thickness of this. And so it's, it's super thin, as you can see. But it will last, you know, if I take care of it, it will, I could probably pour about 20 of them in there. But I love these. Okay, and these right here, of course, oh, they're still soft. Uh, key rings. Oh, wow, they are still soft. Yeah, I'm going to leave these in here because they're still, <gasps> they're still soft. Can I get the the little thing back in there probably not yeah because it's just it's distorting this thing right here anytime you can move it like that it's still sort of soft but that's what this looks like it's just a 
and you can do anything with that you can put alcohol ink on it you can uh, put a you could decoupage on it you could stamp on it you could uh, put a tattoo on it you could put nail art on it uh, you could paint on it yourself uh, you know this is like a white canvas basically just a white canvas and you can do whatever you want to this stuff will take a this stuff will take everything that I, I've ever used just like uh, a canvas would and that's the 10 minute cure polyurethane and I absolutely love it and that's what caught, got me into resin to begin with I just wish it wasn't so expensive uh, I would use it all the time but the real they're here today is because now that's that's the 10 minute cure polyurethane resin that that is resin doesn't look like resin not on the front not on the sides not on the frame. Nowhere does it look like resin. All the way around. Until you flip it over. And then you can see. Wow. Okay. That's resin. And it came from. This picture. I'm going to put my mold. Back on the table. That's my mold. That's the original, which is still in good shape. I could still, yeah, it's fine. But that's the original. And the only difference is, is I wanted some color. And if you didn't know, you wouldn't be able to tell which one was wood and which one wasn't. This one's heavier than this one. This one feels sturdier and more expensive than this one. This is not real wood. This is that chipboard stuff. See the back? Yes, I am very, very proud of that. Alrighty, y'all. That is it for my video today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And uh, I'm uh, hoping to see you again tomorrow. Maybe not tomorrow. It is Saturday. I may take Saturday and Sunday off. I don't know for sure yet. I guess it will just be... Uh, if I decide I want to do some crafting, because I normally always bring you along, and I really don't want to be doing this with my fingers, and so I'm going to leave it alone. Um, Facebook group, I would love to see y'all over there. The description, no, no, no. The link to the Facebook group is in the description below. My goal of 2,000 subscribers by February the 14th is still very, very doable. I want to uh, say thank you to each and every one of you that has made it a possibility. Uh, I know I could not do it without y'all, and, and I do appreciate each and every one of you. Whether you're a subscriber, uh, uh, a newcomer, whether you've watched me and not subscribed for some reason, if you're one of the ones that have watched me for a long time and not subscribed, Please just hit that subscribe button for me. I am so close to my 2,000 um, subscriber goal. I think the last time I looked, I, I needed 42 more. And uh, we will be doing a giveaway uh, if I reach 2,000 by February the 14th. And it's, it's doable. It is so doable. And I will be so ecstatically happy if it happens. It will actually be the first goal that I ever made that I will have ever reached since I started YouTube. And I think I started YouTube uh, technically eight months ago. Uh, and I've been on YouTube a lot longer than that, but not doing videos. Um, 
I hope y'all have a great day. Uh, it's still fairly early here. I started early. Um, and when I get up early, I get a lot accomplished. And, um, I'm trying to think if there's something else I need to be telling y'all, but I don't think there is. If you want to see sort of how I did this, the, the, how I did the housing, which is this stuff right here. Uh, you can check out my YouTube short. I took pictures of the, the steps. And uh, these just go together like this. I love these. These are my favorite. And uh, I got my first set, my first two sets off of Timu. And then I just ordered another set, but I bought one set off of Amazon. And I just ordered another one off of Amazon. They fit together like this. And I had just enough to do this. And if you check out my short, it will show the housing and how that fit in it. It will show it poured. It will show uh, uh, the step of me doing this. Now, the only way you're actually going to see me actually taking it out uh, of the housing is on Facebook. Uh, I have a little video. My son-in-law was filming me, and I didn't even know it, and he sent it to me, so I, I put it uh, in the Facebook group. So if you want to see the actual part of me taking this out uh, of the mold housing, you need to come join the, the Facebook group. Alrighty. Thanks again so much. See you later. Bye-bye.